The final in a trilogy, an interview, a uh, Skype interview with my dear friend Frank Jordan. Frank and Connie and Ruth and I have been buddies for many, many years. We've grown young together uh, through the years. And it's interesting as Frank grows, you can go to dinner with this guy or lunch with this guy. Uh, his heart and his mind are fixed on the immune system. How I wish immunologists in the world knew what Frank knows about the immune system. He's developed a product called beta-glucan that I take. Will it defeat Ebola? No, it doesn't kill anything. It readies your immune system. It's been work, uh, used in cancer research for many, many years, and Frank is the holder of patents on this. Frank, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Doug. We've We've talked a little bit about what Ebola is. We've talked about the Jordan family fear level. Uh, I'd like to talk with you about other viri, hoping to allay the concerns and fears, other viri that are circulating right now that we know are going to be uh, as damaging, if not more, than this one. And you know those because you study white blood cells in the immune system. Talk to us about these. Well, it's more than just viruses, too. The one really bothering me is this enterovirus, yeah. D68. It has killed six, actually more people than the, the Ebola HF. Uh, I'm concerned, Doug, because now it's all of a sudden in 46 states as of today, this day, uh, where did it come from? It's been in the U.S., but very, very rare. Now, I haven't heard anybody else, and this is just a great concern. This is Frank Jordan speaking. But we have let 65,000 children come in. That Most of those have been disseminated and distributed into our schools nationally. And almost every state, I believe, as of yesterday, all of a sudden, they didn't come in with health scans. If they had a fever, they quarantined them. Now, a lot of that quarantine was four road cones and some yellow tape. But in any case, they are now out there. They have antibodies that may keep them from exhibiting symptoms. But all of a sudden, in our schools nationwide, I think there's 640 some odd cases as of yesterday. That's going to expand. The only testing is blood testing that had to be sent to the CDC. Now they say they're going to expedite that to make it faster. But Doug, it's in every state, and we're talking about something highly contagious mm -hmm. uh, that particularly is dangerous for children with mm -hmm. respiratory illnesses mm -hmm. and, and exhibit wheezing. So just beware, parents, that this is a major issue. And, and, and the other one is going to be tuberculosis. Now, again, we mentioned worldwide there have been about 4,000 people that have fatally been affected by Ebola. That's horrible. But how about 1.6 to 1.7 million by tuberculosis in the year 2012? That, too, is a part of the immune system where it comes in and disables the immune cells to where they can't present what's called uh, an antigen so that the immune system can decide to kill it. It goes inside these macrophages. So you need your immune response in your body. It, God gave us 20% of our body as immune cells, and I'm not hearing enough in all the different announcements, protocols. Just simply keep your immune response up. Drink adequate water. Go on a diet like the phase one I mentioned in a, a former segment. Cut out the sugar, period. The white refined products keep because those knock out your immune response. Keep your immune response up. Get as rest as you can. Moderate exercise, and try to reduce stress. And then supplement. And this is not an ad for our products. I promise you. But we know this is medical school researched. We know it normalizes the immune response, and that's what you want right now. You don't want a soldier to go out that's disabled when he gets there. Doesn't have his weapons. He's out of shape. Uh, and he, he, maybe his vision isn't adequate even enough. So there's a lot of things you can do. MG beta glucan, medical school research, it's NSC 100. And again, please keep up with all of these things. The, all of these viruses, the bacteria, chicken pox is another thing. Here's what's scary. We have spent decades eliminating these diseases, primarily from our children, but adults also. All of a sudden, they're back. Why? because we are letting people come into our borders. The first rule of stopping an epidemic is to quarantine. Don't be around the people who have what could be a pandemic. And that's whether it's Ebola or tuberculosis, malaria, any of these things, stop the people who can carry it from coming in. I'm not trying to be inhumane. I'm just trying to protect the people in the United States of America. 
Sounds like an excellent plan, uh, Frank. Uh, Frank talked about tuberculosis and, and uh, this other enterovirus that's circulating in schools, horrible, horrible virus. Uh, and our hope in America, folks, you're going to see it on all the networks, is a vaccine. Everybody's talking, wait, there's a flu vaccine that they tell us all to take. Is the flu gone 30 years later? It's killing more people than ever before. A vaccine, unfortunately, I'd like to tell you that's going to take care of all of us. Uh, what's going to take care of all of us is what Frank just said. And, and by the way, go to his website. He has a lot of information on, uh, on this uh, Ebola. He's a wealth of knowledge. Thank you for honoring our many, many viewers, Frank. Thank you, Doug. God, God bless you, man. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.